クリスの PC とハードディスクと交換だそうだでどうするん<笑>シザンは gritting her teeth in frustration. She listened to us. I'd had her come back immediately after the call, and I'd brought、uh, Moeg out to the lab as well. So, I'm going to show you the more I die. Karini, I didn't know you're going to be a good one to stay. I'm going to be a good one to s a y No. Moeg gave her honest answer. Obviously. Of course they will. The only reason they'd call me specifically is that they knew I had information they wanted to keep hidden. After what I'd gone through already, I could safely assume they'd show no mercy. And they were after what Curry Sue had left behind. Her memories and her belongings. I don't want them causing any more wars. Which means there's only one thing we, I could do. Yeah, that'll work. It was dangerous, but it was the only way. Mayuri and the others were still out there fighting, which meant that they st should still think I was running around the town. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I turned toward Moeko, who shook her head. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I bet. And I knew that fate wasn't going to let me die for a little while longer. This is a high ended me a semi automatic pistol. Oh, wow. Thanks for the Glock. A semi automatic、um, pistol developed by Australian arms manufacturer Glock、It、is the civilian version of the official sidearm of the Australian military, the PI 80. It has a 9mm ca it has a nine millimeter,、uh, caliber and 17 plus 1 round capacity. The frame is fully plastic. Its revolutionary design would have, had, ha, would have a huge effect on later firearms. It's a, it's a nice little gun. Glocks are nice. Oh, I, I, I personally prefer Smith and Weston's, but that's just me. I hesitated but decided to take it. Oh, fuck, no hesitation. It was the first time in my life I'd ever held a gun, and it was a lot heavier than I expected it to be. The lines were still on at the building in Kanda. Even at this hour, the gate was open. That's how colleges were. As expected, we made it inside with no trouble. <laughs> If Dara's information from 2036 was right, Strat、uh, Stratford's base was here at my university, Tokyo Denki. Several buildings occupied the school Kanda's bu campus. Buildings 1, 5 through 7, and buildings 11 through 15. Buildings 5, 6, 10, and 15 were scattered throughout the surrounding neighborhood, but the remainder were in their own little isolated area. The only two of these, with,、uh, those with basements, were 11 and 15. And my guess, guess that was that, wouldn't that. And my guess was that Stratford's base was here in、uh, building 11. If、uh, it was not only the building with the newest equipment, but it was the biggest building with 17 floors and a lot of foot traffic going in and out. I didn't know how many people Stratford had working for them, but at least some of them had to have been going out looking for me. Which meant this place would be less well guarded than usual. 
and I had Suzawa with me too. This was doable. I led Suzha straight down the stairs. There were three elevators in the building, but Suzha decided that taking them would be dangerous. They could potentially be trapped. Well, yeah, you also can shut them down. The problem was what lay below. There were over 20 rooms of varying sizes in this two-story basement. Which one of them was their base? Well, that's nice. Suzha led me down the corridors without hesitation. With her gun in her hand and her hips dropped low down to the ground to avoid making noise as she ran, she looked like a cat. <laughs> she stopped in front of one of the rooms and nodded to me. It seemed no different than any of the others. But there was no nameplate on it. This was supposed to be a large generator room, as I recalled. Sounds good. I took the Glock out from my belt. It was heavy in my hands. Susan taught me how to use it, but I've never fired it before and wasn't sure I'd be able to. Um, usually if you, you're taught how to use it, you fire it. But it would still be to serve as a bluff. Yeah. Don't point a gun unless you're willing to shoot. After she finished her countdown, Shuza shot off the doorknob, kicked open the door, and ran into the room. She did all, it all in one swift mo movement. I ran in after her and realized immediately that something was wrong. The first thing I noticed was the stench. It was an iron smell and strong enough to make you puke. Blood. The floor of the room was covered with blood. There were bodies, too. Four or five of them. Of course, Shuza hadn't done it. It was already the, like this when we got here. <laughs> Suzha was slowly making her way forward. I followed her. Some of the bodies were Japanese and some were American. The room continued on. A large man was face, laying face down next to a half-open door. Next to him was... Kagari? Oh, oh, fucking Reyes. Fuck off. Please have not killed... Uh, please have not killed... Uh, fucking Alexis? Let's get in. Sure. Bacana. The voice saying my name was voluptuous and feminine, and its accent was foreign. Reyes, God damn, Dr. Reyes, still evil. Can we shoot her? Oh, hey, Kagari, how's it going? Dr. Reyes spun around sm quickly and smoothly like a dancer. Kagari was seated behind her. She's probably unconscious. There was some kind of strange mechanical device over her head. No matter how much I called out her name, she didn't move an inch. Ugh. Her smile was sharp and cold. It completely lacked the warmth I'd seen when we first met. You don't fucking say. Suza already had her gun drawn on Reyes. But Reyes didn't seem concerned in the slightest. Kunji? Tenoji had said that, come to think of it. That the group looking for Kagari was with the Western military. And he'd wonder if a normal spy would have taken their own life. Uh, highly doubt it. Doesn't mean you wanna die. Suza. <laughs> Are you really gonna let her fucking bullshit you like that? Just because she's part of an organization, the organization won't give a fuck if she dies. She gives a fuck if she dies. <laughs> Come on. Suzan laid the gun at her feet, frustrated. Jesus Christ. Would 
we have two guns, one woman, and uh, disarming both of us just by saying, oh, if I if I die, Kakri dies. How? Does she have a dead switch, dead man switch inside of her? How the fuck is that gonna happen? Unplug her or something. Fuck no. She said Kagari was asleep, but when I looked closer, I saw that her eyelids weren't fully closed. From what little I could see of her eyes, they were empty and devoid of light. I guarantee you she's gonna drug the shit out of her. If you shot her, none of this would actually progress any farther and you could just unhook her and take her away. She rubbed Kagri's cheek with the barrel of the gun, a look of ecstasy on her face. If you're not gonna give me what I want, I'll do my things my way. It wasn't a threat for a bluff. Reyes was acting like this was an everyday conversation. With all the blood and stench around us, that somehow made it even creepier. あなたがやったのか。ええ。彼らも余計な真似をしなければ、もう少し長生きできたのに。残念ね。どうして。こんな真似を。簡単なことよ。私の正体に気づいたから。正体。そこの彼女が言ってたでしょ。軍か。同時
文句を言うこともなく死を恐れることもない国のために身を捧げる最強の戦士を作るため<笑>別に珍しいことじゃないわそんなの100年以上も前から世界中で行われているものでもね洗脳なんて面倒なことをしなくても最強の戦士を作り上げられると私たちは気づいたのそれが AI 戦士よ AI 戦士 The name alone made it sound creeper like the title of a cheap sci-fi movie but that also made it creepier なるほどな人工知能を兵士の頭の中に植え付けるというわけかそうすれば一様に高度な頭脳と思考を持つ選手を大量に生み出すことができる。Wouldn't it be easier at that point just to make fucking robots do it then? <laughs> I mean, if you have the technology to have like fully functioning AIs and be able to put them in humans, why not just put in a fucking robot at that point? Why even have a soldier? Because that'd be fucking stupid. Tokshu Gino ni tsuite no kyoku o Heishi zain ni install すれば Why not just make robots? It's probably cheaper. Fucking robots can do that better because you can just have them all connected to some fucking wireless server. Jesus. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why use human soldiers at that point? I was worried that Tsutaha might jump at her in a fury, but she stayed completely calm. Like, we're talking a world where we're able to make fully functioning AIs that are capable of rational decisions, and you're telling me we can't build a fucking robot? Jesus Christ. Reyes was right next to Kagri. No matter how fast his heart was, without a gun, Kagri was still in danger. If you heard of gun still and didn't listen to her... If I knew Suzha was just uh, was watching the situation carefully, waiting for an opening. いい。私たちは世界の治安を守っているの。我が軍があるからこそ世界の平和は保たれているのよ。そのための戦士になれるのなら彼らだって本望のはず。It was selfish reasoning. There's no way I or anyone else could accept it. But. <laughs> I'm a mad scientist and I like it. Reyes, Kyoju. Yeah. Reyes. Kisama. Nakanaka omoshiroi janaika. Jesus. I saw Suzha's gaze dart over to me for just a moment. Her eyes seemed to criticize me, but she didn't say anything. Rintaro? Rintaro ではない! My job right now <laughs> was to keep her busy until Daru broke the lock on the files, which meant that now was the time to act. Oh, it's time for all of Hoi and Kiyoma. To act the part of the biggest fool I can. That was my job. Wagano wa Hoi and Kiyoma!世界の支配構造を覆し混沌に陥れる男一体何の冗談この狂気のマッドサイエンティスト法院狂魔が認めてやろう貴様なかなかにマッドだ貴様なかなかにマッドだ <laughs> God, I love him back. I actually love him back. That's because he's an insane mad scientist. For a moment, her mouth had hung open in shock, but she quickly regained her cocky smile. But I couldn't back down now. Reyes! 
これまで貴様がやってきたことはすでに把握した貴様は AI 戦士の研究のためにビクトル・コンドリア大学に教授として潜り込んだそしてその過程でアマデウスプロジェクトにたどりそうだなええその通りよアマデウスはなかなかに面白いプロジェクトだったわでも She stepped on the body next to her as if it were an object and not a human being. Amadeus Project no Kage ni Mieka Kresser. Kareda no Sonzai yo. Annojo, Sangrio irete mita ra tondemo nai mono ga miete kita. Nani ga dete kita kawa. Anata mo shitter de shou. Time travel. Time machine. Hey, yeah, there you go. Rays flashed me a dazzling smile and nodded. Nadu hodo na. Jinri no yume de ari.決して作り出すことのできないと言われたタイムマシン。その理論が記されたああ、実にくだらん。世界の覇権。国家のため、組織のため、機関のため。どれも賠償な目的だ。そんなもののために、正規の大発明を利用するなど、科学者としてゲノゲ。私は科学者である前軍人よ。国に命を捧げたものなの。Her voice was rising in excitement. だから、決して他の国に先を越されるわけにはいかない。革命的な理論を私たちが手に入れることで、世界の均衡は守られる、世界の平和は保たれるのよ。いや、I'm ましてや一民間企業に手に入れられるなど許すものですかそれがこれだけの人間を手にかけた理由かあえてもう一度言おうくだらないなあらそう彼らには悪いことをしたと思ってるわ she didn't really sound like she meant it. 本当なら彼らを泳がせるだけ泳がせておいて、すべてを手に入れてからデータを頂戴するつもりだったの。なら、スパイとして潜り込ませていた部下の一人が、ヘマを知れかしちゃったの。だから、それについてはこちらの落
The real reason she was interested in me, in me was probably the latter. It was far too obvious. She's really bad at uh, trying to convince people. You also shoot people in the back of the head a lot. Of course. Reyes laughed and went over round behind Kagari. She seemed to be moving casually, but since his heart didn't pound, she probably hadn't left any openings. I was hitting my limit for buying time. ハイエストアイの持ち主だ。ハイエストアイ。目が高いという意味だ。メリケン人は。そんなことも分からないとはな。ファーキングクライスト。だがまあいい。科学者として芸の芸だと言った。さっきの言葉を取り消してやる。何せ、この俺の才能を見抜いたのだからな。あら、それならこちらの提案に乗ってくれるのね。ファックナウ。あの、なぜならこの俺は、ほう、インジェストロイズのオーガナイゼーションなんて、ジョインズ。狂気のマ